Hello, in this lesson, we are going to cover how to set up OpenGL on Windows using Visual Studio 2017. So the first thing you want to do is download GLFW and GLEW. GLFW is a framework that allows you to, GLFW, let's just go into the website. It allows you to create a render window and that's what you will actually render your OpenGL content to. You could use something like SFML or SDR or another render window framework. That's fine, the process is exactly the same. And you don't wanna click download here, this will download the source code. You wanna to go to download, scroll down and you want the Windows pre-compiled binaries. You either have 32-bit or 64-bit binaries unless you really need 64 bit, AKA you even need more than four gig of RAM, most likely you probably don't, or you need the extra security features within 64 bit, which again, you probably don't. Stick to 32 bit, it'll ensure the best compatibility. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Then just Google GLEW. There'll be links in the description to this as well, so you can just follow those links if you find that easier and from here select the binaries windows 32 and 64 bit just download that again i've got it downloaded this is just an extension wrangler that allows you to use newer OpenGL features beyond 1.0 again you could use some alternative like gl ad glad if you want to process is pretty much the same so once you've actually downloaded this also make sure you've downloaded Visual Studio 2017 as well. This is a free download. You can just easily download the community edition that will suffice. So once you've got these downloaded, like I've got them downloaded here, you want to extract both of them using your favorite extraction tool and just extract Did something mess up there? Let me just try that again. So, extract GIFW, extract GLEW. Okay, that's all good. Now you want to create a folder for your project directory, and this can be placed wherever because we're going to relatively link our library file, so you can move the project folder. I mean this core root folder you can rename it you can move it to a different computer and you'll still run so i'm going to call it opengl root and i'm just going to put this here and in here we'll have two folders our project folder which will be the visual studio folder and the external resources folder which will contain gl glfw and glew so you want to go to new glfw actually no rename that in this called external resources inside here we'll place this folder so if we just copy and paste it move it doesn't really matter and then from here you want this folder which contains all of these then let's move that I'll get rid of this because this is an empty folder now. And I always find it's easier if you rename these. So instead of having the version, it's just easy to link it. And you'll see why very soon. So now that we've got these in our project, and assuming you've installed Visual Studio, launch up Visual Studio 2017. So just wait for that to launch. And all we're going to do is create a new project. So I just go to File, New Project. From here, select Win Visual C++ Empty Project. You want an empty project, and go to Browse, and go to wherever you created this root directory. Open that, and then in the same place where you got your external resources folder, just click Select. I'm just going to name this OpenGL. VS, so Visual Studio, click OK.
and it's an empty project at the moment so you just need to right click your project go to add new item and just select main or just rename it whatever you want you just want to create a file which will be the main entry point for your application and let me just close all these down and now what we want to do is actually link everything to our project so go to your project go to properties and then from here go to configuration make sure all configurations is selected go to platform select either win32 or 64-bit depending on which option you've gone down so i've gone down the 32-bit route so just select that and now go to cc++ if this doesn't appear that's because you don't have a cpp file so if you skip the step of creating a cpp file the C, C++ section will not appear so that's just something to bear in mind so that's the reason we create it first even though we don't code in it yet and you just go to general go to additional include directories and what we need to do now is relatively link our project to this include directory and this include directory we could just click the three dots but if we navigate to the project you'll link it to that specific path so if we were to rename the project or move it that will just mess up the linking so what you want to do is type in dollar open bracket solution dir forward slash so this solution dir command what it refers to is let me just go to our visual studio project it refers to this visual studio solution file so wherever this is that solution dir gets that location so if you move the overall project you'll update it accordingly but what we want to do is go within the external resources so we need to go back one then go into external resources so now we are in here going to glew then include so glew include we can actually copy and paste this again because we'll need it for the glfw so again going to glfw include so all we actually have to do is change e to f if the naming or the project directory structure is slightly different feel free to tweak these commands these include directories so by adding these we actually now have access to the code files from glew and glfw in our project so go to linker now now we're going to link the library files so go to general you want to go to additional library directories click edit and just add a new one if you've already got this in your copy and paste buffer just paste it in if not just type it out again so again solution directory going back one going into external resources glew but we're not going to put include this time it's slightly different if we go back so we've got glew we want to go into lib lib and then we want to go into release and then finally you want to go into either 32 or 64 bit depending on what route you've gone down for me 32 bit so win 32 win 32 and that's it and now just click new or double click whichever way you want to do it chain this to glfw forward slash and now if we go back the structure for GF to be slightly different you just need to go into the library file which is which is one of these and it's the lib-vc 2015 you probably can see it doesn't have 2017 binary but you can use the 2015 ones they work fine so you just need to go into here so lib i'll just copy and paste this so it's just easier there we go so we click ok go to input we have one last little thing to do here 
and just click this drop down edit and what you want to do is type in opengl32.lib if you were to go to the lib folders that we just linked for gl ewu or gl fw you'll see that there's no opengl32 lib file there that's because it's built into windows and you want to go to glew 32 slib s just refers to static linking if you don't want static linking you merely remove the s and glsw3.lib i always like to confirm that i've got the naming right because it's been named the, like this for a few versions it's always good to check so in here we want the glfw3.lib that's great we want the glew and it's going to here and that's glew32 s.lib or 32 if you don't want static linking and if we click ok apply that's the actual project setup in terms of linking there's just one last thing we need to do before we can actually code in OpenGL and that is go to your GL EW folder go to bin release again 32 or 64 bit whichever route you've gone down and copy this glew32.drl and go to your project folder go to the location where your main.cpp file is paste this here also go back to where your visual studio project solution file is create a folder called debug this is actually automatically generating when you first debug but if we paste it in here we create the folder and create a folder for release what this will allow us to do is use the actual project the exe outside of visual studio so we won't have to go into visual studio and run it from there every single time so you'll just be able to essentially copy the contents of the debug or release folder including the dr and share it that way so now we're all set up we can actually start coding and I've already got the code here to just create a window just, and just that's it really it doesn't draw any shapes it's really simple and because we did static linking you need this hash defined GL either be static if you didn't just comment it out or remove it entirely click run and if we just wait for it to compile just be patient and there we go this is just the console and this is our window doesn't look exciting but we now can draw in open g out just another thing i want to mention from here is make sure you've got debug selected or released depending on what you want to do with your project or more importantly make sure you've got the right platform selected because sometimes when i've created a project say 32 bit i've set it up for 32 bit it automatically set this to 64 bit and i'm running it and it's just not working it's because obviously i don't have it set up for 64 bit so make sure this is correct before you run it and that'll help you prevent any errors from occurring so there's quite a bit of code here feel free to take a look at it there's plenty of comments all of this code will be on the github link in the description also i've got other videos on setting up opengl and in those videos i do cover exactly what each one of these lines do so feel free to check them out if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson.